Hi, welcome back to our course on explainable AI theory, application and research. In this lecture, we will see how we can actually implement the SHAP for text-based data. So we will see how we can identify those portions within the text-based data that contributed to making that whole paragraph or the whole sentence classified as negative or positive or uh, for image sentiment analysis or for any for any way in which a machine learning model identifies that this sentence is positive or negative, we will see which words or which parts of the sentences are contributing positively towards it and which are contributing negatively towards it. In this particular example that we will demonstrate in this lecture, we will be using IMDb movie review dataset. So in this data set, there are 25,000 movie reviews and each review is associated with a label positive or negative. And uh, we will look at both of these categories after training uh, a machine learning model to make a prediction on the movie review. So um, in fact, we will not be training from scratch. We'll be using a pre-trained um, model. So let's let's see how to do that. And our workflow will be as following. Um, we will... Uh, import the model so we'll not be building it from scratch but we'll be using what is already out there we will test the model on a few data set to see what's the accuracy then we will set up the SHAP explainer for analyzing the predictions made by the model and then we will have a look at which words are influencing the prediction and the degree with which or which which parts of the sentence uh, are, are influencing the prediction and the degree to which it influences the prediction so this will be our workflow so now let's go to the Google Colab. So we'll be using Colab environment. I'll be sharing the link with you, link to the Colab with you. So this is the Google Colab notebook and we'll be running the code. I have already set it up. I have taken most of the code from the, the SHAP's uh, website itself. Uh, there is an example, but on top of it, we'll be doing a few experiments. So we will need transformers, for, which will be the model that we will use for classifying the text-based data. We will need the SHAP library and also we will need the datasets library for fetching the dataset. So first do pip install these three things. Uh, I have already installed this, so this should be this should not take any time for me. And we will import uh, NumPy, of course, for dealing with um, pandas or other uh, NumPy related things, datasets, transformers and SHAP. So once the pip install is finished, just run the uh, import library part. And then we will be loading the data set. So data set is loaded from the data sets uh, library, which we imported and uh, we'll be using IMDB data set. And we'll have a look at it, how the data set actually looks like. So the additional thing that we are doing is uh, we are only looking at the first 20 data points within the data set. So that's what uh, this 20 does. And the data set actually has two columns. Uh, I can print and show you. So let me first run this. And let me print the data set, the first data point. So there are two columns, text. Uh, text is the actual movie review. And uh, it, it looks like a long piece of uh, sentence, uh, like long piece of paragraph. And the second one is label. Label uh, is zero. So if I remember, I think label zero means probably, I'm not sure if it is positive or negative. I assume it is positive um their actions the no otherwise people will co not continue watching maybe it's negative i'm i'm not exactly sure whether in this particular case label zero means positive or negative maybe we can try printing another data set to see um where the entertainment value especially if you like action movies this one features okay this looks like a positive movie uh, completely handled, but there is nothing that really blows you away. If you say in the share before, interesting by inclusion of rabbit. Okay, this looks like positive. So label zero, I assume it means positive and label one means negative. Now, um, in this uh, in this particular code, what we are doing is we are shortening the data set. So we'll pick the first 20 such reviews and we'll be only selecting the text. We won't be selecting the label uh, because it's not needed in our case. We are using a pre-trained transformer model. Uh, for making the classification and we'll be using the we'll be only taking the first 500 characters from the from this text of the review so let me run this and i can show you by printing the a sample from short data so print short data of maybe zero 
So it is literally, so if I print the data set of zero versus short data of zero, you can see that the short data of zero is just this, this, uh, this sentence or slash paragraph, but it's, it's abruptly cut off here at the, at sci-fi. Um, so I think it is somewhere around Babylon five. So yeah, Babylon five is good. Hmm. It's cut off somewhere here, probably. Yeah, I cannot find exactly where it's being cut off. Yeah, it's cut off right here. So there is sentence beyond this, but since we are defining this cut off 500, this is how it looks. But if I make it thousand, of course you will see you will see beyond this. Um, so now if I if I print the short data, you will see beyond uh, beyond what what was the cut off before. But we'll keep it 500. That's okay. So let me print this once again to make sure that it is indeed 500. Okay. Now let us, um, let's, we can define a, a pandas data frame, although I don't think we'll be using it. Um, I'm, I'm just um, doing it to just display the, the head of the data frame. So the data set, I think we have loaded. So this line of code is not needed short data this is also already defined we just need to create the data frame i don't need this import because it, that's also already done so i think pandas is also okay pandas is not imported so that alone i'll import here so sh uh, short data is already defined uh, columns we'll only te take the text uh, but here i think there is only one column anyway for the short data so i don't even know if this is required we'll see we'll see by running df.head Let's just print the df dot head. You will see that it's literally just a collection of sentences. So even if this is probably not that it may work, we can see. Yeah, basically. So um, so it looks like this is how it look how it is. Uh, you can also print, I guess, the whole data frame and the length of it will it should be twenty. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's from zero to nineteen. Okay, so we saw the data set and now we'll define the NLP pipeline. So natural language processing. So we are using transformers and within transformers, we are using the sentiment analysis pipeline. So that will be our classifier. So by running this, we, we just um, define the model. And I hope this, this warning is okay. And we can actually test this, right? So let's say, so this is an already trained model. So we can test it with some samples. I can write something like, uh, I love this movie. It was the best movie of, of all time. And then we can print it, print the results. And the result will be positive or negative. So here, since this is a, obviously a positive <clears throat> review, uh, what they are what they are printing here is the probability with which the first text. So there are two texts here, right? They are two separate texts. First one is positive. Um, second one is kind of negative. So here they are printing the probability that this is negative and probability that this is positive. So the probability that this is negative is 0 0.00013. So it's very low, whereas pro probability that is positive is very high 0.999 the second one on the other hand is with a high probability 0.999 it's negative and 0 0.0002 it's positive now let me do let me do something like this How about this? So now there is negative part, but I added a positive sentence. So I'm saying overall, I like the movie. Let's see how the review for this thing changes. So now it has become positive with 0.999 probability and 0 0.001. What if I say something like, uh, it was a one time watch. Let me see how this is perceived um so it has like the confidence has decreased that it is negative how about how about this if i delete i'm just playing with this just to make sure that the classifier is reasonably good now it says positive um uh i like how about this i like the first half but 
did not like the second half overall okay that's it i won't say anything else let's see so now um it says 0.96 so i guess if one whole half of a movie is bad i guess it's it's basically a negative review okay so this is good uh, overall i get the sense of what this uh, sentiment analysis is doing so this is quite good so please note that the reason why we are not selecting the labels here we are only selecting the text is because it's already a good pre trained model and we are selecting the test data from imdb not the trained data so that the model would not have seen the uh, like the in the, in the pre training process the this transformer model would not have seen it okay so now we can uh, do the sentiment analysis for the first few data points um let me delete this line of code maybe i can just do the sentiment analysis or for first three data points and while printing it let me also print just before that the uh, actual oh sorry let me also print the actual um data so maybe i can just print it like this mm of 0 then i can print of 1 and of 2 and print slash n okay so mm -hmm. comma slash n this i think i don't know if i hope ai can do help with me i don't know okay anyways okay so the these are the first three sentences and then here we are printing the uh, predictions so the first one is i love sci-fi and i am willing to put up with a lot sci-fi movies are un underfunded underappreciated misunderstood i try to like this i really did but it's it is uh to good sci-fi as babylon 5 is to star trek silly process so overall it it sounds like a negative review um right uh, i'm sure those of you are okay i it for me it feels like a negative review but it says is positive and i think the true label is also positive like um for this particular data point uh that's okay worth the entertainment value of rental especially this is okay this is definitely positive uh it says positive with a score of 0.98 and the last one is totally average film with few semi all right so it looks like a negative review i think right Yeah, so ninety nine point nine percent. It's a negative review. So the, this this classifier is working really really good on the test data set from the IMDb movie review. Uh, we can also try to find a model accuracy. So here from Scikit-Learn, we are importing accuracy score, and the predictions are made using the classifier on the entire short data. What is the short data? It is the first twenty. um data points from the test data and only the first 500 characters and predicted labels we are defining as those labels from the um so here we have uh yeah so predicted label is basically from the classifier so it is within the predictions and we are mm, we are making it as uh append 0 if predict yeah so if it is negative then the predicted label is 0 if it is positive it is 1 is that correct uh, zero if predicted label equal to equal to negative assuming negative is zero uh, maybe this is wrong we we will we'll see and true labels is from the data set from the label column the first 20 ones right these are these are the true labels and the accuracy score is calculated based on true labels and predicted labels so let's see let's run this and see what's happening um I am interested to print the true label ones. I am not sure if this is correct. So print.
um okay zero 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 so true labels are all zeros is it data set how about the first 20 data set or, or how about the zeroth one i i just want to see if the label is zero for all of these this is zero this is again zero so i'm not sure if again zero all of these are zero this does not make any sense yeah i guess it does not make much sense because you know if you print let's say i'm printing true labels and i am printing uh predicted labels then if i run this you will see that true labels are simply zero but the predicted labels they kind of make sense i'll uh, let's see let's see this is not an issue yeah in the predicted labels there are at least bunch of positive reviews uh, although the in reality the so so let's look at this right so the i love sci-fi um movie this is uh willing to put up but this is a negative review worth the entertainment value this one features this this is so i think the second one is actually positive because this one is yeah so i don't know why this value is in the true label this is not one um then this one i get this is probably one because we cut the cut at 500 so if we made this 1000 uh so let's say i made this 1000 or or 1500 or something like that I, i'll put it 1000 and then maybe if i run the classifier like let me run the classifier here perhaps the the review will become negative yeah see you see it became negative so it's because i cut cut the data point abruptly so now this is like uh, first one is negative with 99.9 percent .9%, second one is positive with 90 percent score third is negative with 99.9 percent .9%. so uh however so the so the it is true that the second um the okay and then here i can run this to predict the new predicted labels so i assume the first one would now become zero in the predicted label the first quantity will become zero it was previously one because i was cutting the data set at 500 character you see it, it became zero but still there are some uh some positive reviews but my test data true label shows that all of them are um negative so so let let's try to fix this let's see what's the issue okay so i think i understand the problem so basically if we print the size of the data set there are 25000 um uh, rows and if we look at the data set the the column called labels uh print data set <laughs> column labels is not in the data set it is there in the data set i literally just printed it some time ago off or or let me just how about text Hmm. Temporarily stop sending output. Oh, maybe because my notebook has got disconnected. Let me just ensure that there is no issue. Okay, this is working. <clears throat> okay so this is printing the uh all the labels and you can see that the first half of the data points are all zero meaning they're all negative reviews so you can scroll 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 and only when you reach the exact half of the data it it's it becomes one and then everything is one everything is one 
So it looks like it's sorted in such a way that all the negative reviews are in the first half. So if you print um, of text or, or rather, let's say data set of uh, 12,500 or 12,499, this will be right at the middle where the transition happens. So here, probably the biggest thing about Wild Rebels, he is a loser written all over him, probably worst race driver. So this, I guess, looks like a negative review. So label should be zero, right? Okay, fine. And but then now for 500 and from all the data points after that, it should be positive. So this should be one. The label should be one. And you can see that its label is one. So uh, I guess that's the problem. It's not something weird about data set. I think, I think the way they have labeled positive and negative might have taken consideration to the star rating. I don't know. I don't know how the data set was created. But anyways, uh, so this accuracy being 0.8 is not a problem with our classifier. Uh, I think our classifier is in fact quite good. It is a problem with the um with the labels so don't worry about this accuracy being pointed i i strongly i would say that the, this first review is negative uh sorry this um second re uh, second review is positive rather uh because it's it, it it's written in a positive way but our label says that second review is negative first review is negative third is negative all the reviews until 12499th review they're all negative so uh, I think there might be some uh, not so good data set in this, but that's okay. It, it does not prevent us from going ahead. So now what we will do is we will try to explain uh, the prediction. So if if this is predicted as one in our predicted label, if the first review is predicted as zero, which is negative, second is predicted as one, which is positive. Let us see which words contributed to this uh, happening. So let me first run, uh, like define the SHAP explainer. So we are calling the explainer from the SHAP library and we are running it on the classifier and classifier if you see it's it uh, has it has run on the first uh, three over here let me see i think it has run only on the first three i want to i want to run it on the first 20 but anyways the classifier here that is defined as the sentiment analysis uh, transformer pipeline so we are calling the classifier and um this I had run, I don't think this is needed. I was just experimenting with printing the data set, but let me delete that. Now, what we will do is we'll try to explain um, the predictions in the first two samples, or rather, let me just do it for the, the very first one, short data of zero. Let's see what the explainer makes makes this prediction to be um if you if you remember the actual prediction was uh, zero which means this is negative and let's see which words are contributing to this being a negative um data set and here you can see that this value is thousand and why because we are having thousand uh, as the cutoff like i had changed from 500 to 1000 before that's why you have uh, 1000 characters in the data and uh, that's what you see here uh, in the SHAP and SHAP you, you you will notice that it's in general slower than other explainable AI techniques like LIME and it's inherently because of the way Shapley values are, are calculated so you have to calculate all possible combination of subsets within the features so if you're dividing your data points into n number of features you are trying to see which features are adding positively towards uh, the prediction and which features are contributing negatively towards the prediction and the number of subsets that you create will be directly proportional to the number of features. So in a text-based data, the number of features is proportional to the length of the data. Uh, so we had defined the data length to be 500 uh, before, and now we made it 1000. So I guess this has significantly slowed down the speed with which this line can be executed. Maybe I'll just show one thing. Uh, let me do this. Let me pause this and let me go back and make it into 500. So this, let's say it's 500 and so now we can come back and do the sharp explainer on the short data <clears throat> the zero the first data point in short data the only problem with this is the the prediction has changed so if i run um if i run this the first data point is actually zero if we consider all the thousand characters but if you only consider 500 characters there is a tendency to for it to be predicted as um uh, positive i think um, let's see we'll see when this prediction is being created but here you see this value changed to 500. So now this is much faster because the number of subsets that uh, the SHAP explainer has to explore is, is much lesser. So the 
the complexity of SHAP exponentially increases with the number of features or, or the length of the data. So that's why we'll res restrict to 500. If we restrict to 100, it's even better. But let's not do that because it will t change the, even the meaning of the whole uh, movie review. So I'll pause my video here and I'll come back once this execution is finished. You can see that it's faster than before. So the execution has finished and now we can produce the SHAP plot. So we'll, we'll plot the force plot and the text plot. And uh, this should also not take too much time. So the execution of this, um, the previous SHAP explainer took around two minutes. This also will take some time to generate the plot. Uh, so I'll wait until the plot has been generated. I'll pause and come back once this is finished. The SHAP plot has come like this in this format, but I would rather see it, uh, see it two SHAP plots side, side by side. So let me actually calculate SHAP plot for the first two data points and then let me do the plotting. Uh, then we can see how the how the SHAP plots look like. So let me run this and come back. Okay, so this SHAP plot has been created for the first two data points from the short data. Uh, there are two reviews here. Both of them are predicted as positive. And here actually the red color means uh, something that contributes positively towards the prediction. So if the prediction is saying that this is a positive review, then these all these red color points shows those features within the data that is positively contributing towards uh, that prediction. And these blue color points show those uh, features within the data that contribute negatively towards the prediction. So here you can see those words, good, um, I think this is called Scythe from the sci-fi, again, good. And all of these are interesting, entertaining, entertainment worth. All of these are positively contributing. Actually, if we just plot the first, um, just the first one of zero, we can see this better. Uh, let it finish and I'll, I'll plot it. So let's look at it one by one. Let's look at these uh, individual features one by one, like a, like a, a set of rows. Okay, so now let's plot the SHAP plot. So before looking at anything, here we are printing the shape of the SHAP values. So if you remember, there are 500 characters, uh, which each of these characters are forming the feature. And here what we are plotting is the SHAP values, uh, the shape of the SHAP values variable. And you can see that there are uh, basically 500 um, different features and for each feature there is there is a positive value associated with it and negative value so if you look at the way in which the sharp values can get printed there is a this blue is the negative value of minus zero point so this i if you print the first uh first <clears throat> review it is i love sci-fi and i'm willing so now if we plot the sharp value of zero that is corresponding to i and sharp value of one is corresponding to I think it's corresponding to the the blank space and of two will be corresponding to L for the low I think um, yeah I think it is <clears throat> it is L three should be O so here yeah so you can see it's O so we are printing the sharp sharp values um, character by character and each character contributes positively or negatively um, but overall th this these uh, features can be stacked together and we can see how each word contributes to the Shapley value. So let's go back to the previous plotting. We can uh, we can do it for the first two data points and we can uh, plot once again and then let's do a small analysis of the Shapley values. So here are the Shapley force plots. So this base value of 0 0.437 is the value um, for all the different data points in the absence of um, preference towards any feature so basically it's the it's the average of the uh, all the negative and positive feature preferences and overall in this case if we plot positive we will it what this is showing is all the words which contribute contributed positively towards the uh, original prediction but we can also make this negative then this will basically switch. You will see that um, now, you know, the base value. So now the probability with which um, 
this particular data point is predicted as negative is very low uh, you can see that here so it's uh, 0 0.0007 uh, the first this is this is negative with 0, 0.0 positive is 0 0.007 and uh, negative with uh, 0 0.999 so that is the original prediction and here you can see that um, the words that are contributing negatively towards the original prediction so it's basically uh, flipped so these words which were contributing in this red region is now flipped because we are now plotting the negative uh, uh, negative contribution of the words um the same thing goes for the second movie review you can see that worth the entertainment value so let me switch this back to positive um so this is overall a positive review worth the entertainment value of a rental especially if you like action movies and um you can see that the words that are contributing positively towards this positive review has is making more contribution than those those words that are negatively contributing towards the positive review okay so uh that's mostly it i will not be going into the transformer pipeline wrapper so basically there are ways in which we can um mask some of the character some of the features within this text or some of the words or some of the tokens within the text and uh, run this again so that we can enhance the accuracy of the prediction but that's just an addition to what shap can already do so i will not be going into the details of that in this lecture but when i share this notebook with you i will still keep the rest of the code so that you can run it and uh, you can play with it uh, yourself so that's all we'll uh, again see in the next lecture until then uh, bye and uh, thank you so much